Gerald Ford became the 38th President of America following the resignation of Richard Nixon. He was the only president neither elected to the presidency nor the vice presidency. President Ford granted the disgraced Nixon an unconditional pardon, which was extremely unpopular with the voters and probably cost him re-election. Gerald Ford was born July 14, 1913, in Omaha, Nebraska. He was born Leslie Lynch King after his biological father, but he was renamed after his adoptive father. Except in formal signature, he always signed his name as Jerry Ford. He died on December 26, 2006, age 93, in Rancho Mirage, California. The career of Gerald Ford included the roles of lawyer, politician, and statesman. He received an excellent education at the University of Michigan and Yale Law School. He became the 38th President of America in 1974 and served for three years until 1977. Gerald Ford married Elizabeth Bloomer, called Betty, on October 15, 1948. They were happily married for 58 years. Betty was a highly intelligent, outspoken, and determined woman who gained fame as one of the most candid first ladies in history. She established the Betty Ford Center for the Treatment of Chemical Dependency. Gerald Ford and his wife Betty had four children, Michael, John, Stephen, and Susan. Gerald Ford was a member of the Republican political party. He was 61 years old when he was inaugurated as the 38th president. Inauguration is a president's swearing-in ceremony. Gerald Ford became president following the resignation of Richard Nixon. Gerald Ford was 6 feet in height and weighed approximately 195 pounds. He had blonde hair, small blue eyes, and a fair complexion. He saw action aboard the Monterey aircraft carrier, winning 10 battle stars for his service with the U.S. Navy. Gerald Ford was an avid sports fan and enjoyed tennis, fishing, golf, swimming, and skiing. His daughter Susan held her senior prom at the White House. Gerald Ford was subjected to two separate assassination attempts in 1975 by two women. The first attempt was by Lynette Squeaky Fromm, who was a follower of mass murderer Charles Manson. The second attempt was by Sarah Jane Moore, who was a one-time FBI informer. During his lifetime, he played a key role in major events of the era. At the start of his presidency, Gerald Ford granted the disgraced Richard Nixon an unconditional pardon. The pardon was highly controversial and derided by critics who claimed that a corrupt bargain had been struck between the men. 1975 saw the signing of the Helsinki Agreement by the U.S. and European countries that was designed to reduce tension between the Soviet and Western blocs. 1976 saw the North Vietnamese victory in the Vietnam War. American forces were withdrawn from Indochina as communist governments took power in Vietnam, Cambodia, and Laos. Gerald Ford died of heart disease on December 26, 2006 in Rancho Mirage, California. Gerald and Betty Ford are buried together in Woodlawn Cemetery, Grand Rapids, Michigan. So ends our short biography about the life of President Gerald Ford, whose presidency saw the communist victory which ended the Vietnam War. The next U.S. president was Jimmy Carter.